They say there's plenty of fish in the sea, but with the kind of unsightly creatures you're about to see, you'll find yourself wishing that that wasn't the case. Fair warning, this video might put you off swimming for a while. From the sheep's head fish that's overdue for a dentist appointment to the tiny candiro that supposedly has a thing for people's privates, and even a deep sea oddity that can eat things ten times its size, here are some of the scariest fish you've never heard of. Tiger Fish Native to Africa, the tiger fish is known for its 32 dagger-like teeth. Now, on top of these canines, it's locally known for its muscular physique that allows it to prey, as unbelievable as it sounds, on smaller crocodiles. But seeing that it will resort to cannibalizing its own kind when food is scarce, crocodiles, big or small, are really no big deal. Speaking of crocs, according to Jeremy Wade, the extreme British angler, apart from being sharp, the tigerfish's teeth also happen to be the same length as a great white shark's, that's around 6.6 .6 inches. Interestingly, a lot like sharks, tigerfish replace their teeth and are known to attack humans as well. On account of all of these factors and more, the locals have given it the name Umbenga, meaning evil spirit. Not just any evil spirit mind you, one that's said to bring bad luck, particularly when sighted on or before a journey. But on the contrary, they're prized if caught, emphasis on if. Lamprey. If it's nightmare fuel you're after, look no further than the parasitic lamprey fish. It is the most primitive of all vertebrates, and its most notorious trait is its disc-shaped suction cup mouth which, as you can all see here, is ranked with sharp, horny teeth. It's with these horrific teeth that it latches onto an unfortunate fish. Following this, it uses its rough tongue to rasp away the fish's flesh so that it can feed on its blood and body fluids. Ugh! Now, if estimates are anything to go by, then a single lamprey kills about 40 pounds of fish every year. For comparison, that's 20 times more than a red-bellied piranha. Aren't you all glad that God can find these creatures to the depths of the earth? Because we sure are. Kandaroo When ranking parasitic fish by creepiness, the tiny kandaroo comes close to the number one. Native to the Amazon, this fish has a simple yet ruthless modus operandi. Using a water stream coming from a fish's gill, it traces its way to its host only to insert itself in its gill flap. And not unlike most parasitic creatures, it uses the spines around its head to pierce the fish's scales to slurp on its blood. And guess what? For the longest time, it was believed that the smell of human urine attracts these fish. Not just that, they were also said to swim up our urethras to lodge themselves somewhere in our urinary tracts. Not surprisingly, people were afraid of urinating in and around their habitats. Thank goodness this was proven to be false in a 2001 study where researchers added chemical attractants, including human urine, to a tank of kandaroo and they didn't even flinch. What do you think? Can this study be trusted or is it better to swear off swimming in the Amazon River once and for all? Gulper Eel Found in tropical and temperate regions, the gulper eel's characteristic feature is its loosely hinged mouth. Since its mouth is one-fourth of its body size, this deep-sea creature, as we hinted at in the intro, can swallow prey ten times its size. Speaking of prey, there's a light-producing organ called a photophore at the tip of its tail. This organ, as far as we know, has several tentacles which glow pink through bioluminescence and help the gulper attract prey. This same bioluminescence is also used, according to some researchers, to attract mates. And guess what? Gulper eels are said to die after reproduction. And you thought humans had it bad, didn't you? Sheep's head fish. Before you ask, no, those pearly whites aren't photoshopped. Commonly found along the eastern coastline of North America and South America, the sheep's head fish is infamous for its uncannily human teeth. In fact, a full-grown sheep's head not only has well-defined incisors at the front of its jaw but also has at least two to three molars set both in the upper and lower jaw. What's more, they have heavy grinders set in the rear of their mouth. As for what they do with all these teeth, well, much like us, this unique combination helps them chow down on a wide-ranging omnivorous diet containing everything from vertebrates and invertebrates to some plant material. Another interesting thing about these toothy creatures is that they have five to seven distinctive black vertical bars marking their silvery bodies. This pattern, funnily enough, has also earned the sheep's head the name of the convict fish. 
And get this, true to this name, they're notorious for stealing bait. The bottom line is they definitely don't make up for immorals what they lack in looks. Vampire Fish In the Amazon basin, there lurks an abundant game fish whose six-inch fangs have earned it the name of the Vampire Fish. Ladies and gentlemen, meet the Piara. Its fangs, as made up as it sounds, are so large that it's born with holes in its upper jaw just to house them. Another fact that's kind of hard to digest about these river monsters is that they prey on piranhas. Yes, you heard us. They can make entire schools turn tail and flee. In case you were worried, there are no known cases of them going after humans, but hey, let's not take this as a sign to mess with them. Frilled Shark Just like the tiger fish that we mentioned earlier, the frilled shark also has some intense teeth like the great white 300 of them. These 25 rows of backward-facing, trident-shaped teeth make it really difficult for its prey to escape. And get this, these three-pronged fangs have given a lot of trouble to experts trying to study the species, even in dead specimens. Before you think this is the only weird thing about this deep-sea species, wait till you find out that it's believed to have the longest gestation period of all animals, with close to 42 months. It beats even the African elephant. While they don't have anything conclusive, Scientists have pinned this on the creature's cold deep-sea habitat. Snaggletooth Besides the frilled shark, there are two more deep-sea fish that we think you need to know about. First up, there's the snaggletooth. This fish's peculiarity is a bioluminescent red barrel that sticks out of its chin. It's a photophore similar to that of the gulper eel. In fact, it serves the same purpose as well, that is, it helps it lure prey. But that's not all it's got. It's got a number of bioluminescent organs, including but not limited to a large area above the pectoral fin, an area just above the nostrils, as well as the eyes. Yeah, if you ask us, that's a lot of bioluminescence for a fish that's only 7 inches in length. Blobfish Off the coast of mainland Australia, New Zealand, and Tasmania, and just above the seabed at depths of 2,000 to 4,000 feet, lives what some say is the ugliest fish in the world. I'm referring to none other than the blobfish, a species that's known to decompress when it's taken out of its high-pressure environment. No, the viral photos you've seen on the internet aren't a true representation of what a blobfish looks like. Their gelatinous bodies actually look completely normal at 2,000 meters where they experience 200 times the pressure that we do up here. See, it's not so bad to look at. If you're curious how they're able to survive under this kind of pressure, like we said, they have gelatinous bodies with very fine and very soft bones. Another thing to remember is that unlike most fish, they don't have air-filled cavities, which gives them the buoyancy required for movement. But since these fish don't actively hunt, they don't really need to move around a lot, which is also why they don't have any teeth either. But seeing as they mostly survive on microscopic bacteria, they have no use for them. All in all, they're not only the ugliest, but also one of the most relaxed animals to exist on this planet as well. That's a wrap for today's video. If you enjoyed what you saw, please smash that like button and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss a thing. This is Curious Navigator, hoping to see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.